All right, good morning, guys. You two people, world, everywhere, wherever. Um, it's Saturday morning. <clears throat> Sun is bright. Anyway, got some projects that I've been doing, that I've done. Um, so did the pulleys and everything, belt pulleys and everything on the Audi. Did airbags on the truck truck's like well I don't care I'm jealous I'm gonna go ahead and seize the water pump so anyway <clears throat> you guys saw that video there's the water pump seized <clears throat> you can basically see where the belt the belt where it seized and the belt was just sitting there rubbing from there to there right there all the way till there so there's a recall on these if you have so it's believe I believe it's 2013 and newer so I think the guy took this to Dodge and they put a new water pump on it so whatever anyway the water pump took me about I don't know five minutes to install and the serpentine belt took about a half hour because you got to take the tensioner off and, uh, and then you got to fish it through. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And then, uh, yeah, I did that. And I also did off camera, obviously, for Project Crack Pipe. The project of the crack pipe. I put the exhaust on. So I ended up welding it. So. The Y pipe comes down. Um, I got a clamp, so it's three inch pipe. So I have a clamp there just in case I ever have to take it off. I can take the clamp off, but I have an 18 inch piece, 18 inch piece, and then the muffler. And the 18 inch to the muffler is welded, and the 18 inch to the 18 inch is welded. So I fired it up. I put a bunch of gasoline in there, put five gallons in there, fired it up. Um, it was running, ran fine. Um, anyway, I'm over it. It ran fine, and then, uh, go to put it in gear. I think the clutch is going out, or maybe, uh, maybe the clutch needs to be bled or something. Because I push the clutch in, it's hard to get into first, it'll go into second. But then I rev it up and the truck starts to move with the clutch in, which means the clutch is engaging, which tells me that the <clears throat> slave cylinder is not pushing the clutch all the way in. Anyway, so did that. I tore the forks apart for the bike off camera because there's so many videos out there and a lot better information that I'll give you. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what to say, but I'm not going to film it. So I go to redo them, to install them, and I don't even know where they're at. I had such a mess. Kid came home last night. His door handle was broken, so we had to fix that. So I got the seals. So as you guys know, I bought two of these part numbers. These are the, the sweepers, the dust sweepers I'll show you so these ones with the lip these are your sweepers so I bought two of those two packs of those and I bought another pack and it's my fault but anyway I bought this pack and it said <clears throat> a set of seals fork seals and I thought they were the main seals like this, but it turns out it's a set, like it says, like the description says, a set of fork seals. Anyway, I'm dumb. So I can only do one side, the other side I have to, so I ended up ordering another set, and then I'll keep these extra, or the guy at work, his wife's bike needs fork seals, so I told him he could buy these from me, since they're Honda. <clears throat> he could buy those from me, and uh, he just needs seals 
and then he was going to bring the bike over or the forks over and uh, I was going to show him how to do it. <clears throat> but anyway, and there's the old 5.9 water pump. <clears throat> anyway, I got too much stuff that I'm doing. Um, one of the seals, one of the fork seals, the brake caliper side, um, was actually installed upside down. So they say to put the lettering, so the little dots will go at the bottom. So like a normal seal, the springs inside, so the spring in there goes inside and stops the oil. And when I was taking it apart, I was looking at it as it was coming out. Um, and the spring was on the bottom and I was like well that's weird usually the spring goes inside of the cavity of whatever you're trying to seal so anyway got that coming uh yeah um just too much too much to do too much to do oh and it got super windy I'm gonna show you guys will be funny for you guys, but it's not funny for me. Oh yeah, we did a lot of work over here too. There was a, a fence like this over here. We took it out. I was trying to take the post out with the little tractor. Blew a hydraulic hose. Ended up getting that fixed. We got all the scrap metal cleaned up. Got the little trees ripped out of here. And then all my soda cans that I had here that I was gonna organize decided to go everywhere. So much wind. I got cans. Like, there's cans back there, cans here, a bottle or something. Um. I grabbed a couple cans that were already back here. There was a, a couple bottles back here. Let's see if I can get through the jungle. Oh, jeez. So we got cans back here. Some little toy hauler wheels things are still working. Cans over here, cans over there, I have cans all in my barn. This is the the hose that exploded. It goes from there, wraps around, goes to here. So it exploded here and went everywhere. Um yeah. <clears throat> so I got cans over there, cans here. Hands all over there, all the way over there, all over this freaking place, all the way back here. <sighs> so yeah, today's today's plan is just I gotta clean up all these cans. Um, I think I'm gonna burn some more. I think I'm gonna burn some more trash, or it's not trash, more. Uh, Scrap wood, like all this pallet stuff right here. Pallet, this wood there. Um, and I'm probably gonna start building this little wall here and then the wall down here so I can enclose this. So that means I'm gonna have to take all this PVC pipe stuff and all this wood and move it somewhere. But yeah, I got cans everywhere. So that's my my plan for today. But knowing me, I'll probably walk by something and say, "Ooh, that's cool. Let me go take that apart." Because that's who I am. So anyway, we got cans here. This is what I've been burning in. This 55-gallon drum. I thought there was a lot of ash in here, which I guess there is. So I'll probably just dump the ash out and uh, spread it with the little 
tractor. Like this wood I want to burn. It's all wood from the barn. It's actually wood that I had for the glass rack for my truck. So Anyway, I'm going to get to uh, cleaning all that junk. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. This is the fork oil. Super dirty. It's really dirty and really tacky. I got the fork tube sitting here. I might actually just build one tube just to get it done and put it on the bike. And then, uh, yeah, and I got this mess to clean up too. Man, I got too much mess. Oh, and I also got tees for the truck for the airbags. Because I have running dual airlines, one airline for each bag, and I want to put it into a series so that this way, if one airbag goes, I'm not, you know, the truck's not sitting like this or like this. This way, if both airbags go, it'll just drop both air. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these forks together and add the fork oil and do all that stuff. Oh, I did buy, I did purchase the little condom thing that goes over that so that when you put your seals on, the seals go over it and don't get cut. <clears throat> anyway, actually, you know what? I'll do a video assembling one. Let me do a video assembling one and uh, adding the fluid and stuff. So stay tuned for that video, guys. See you guys on that video. Peace out. Thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, commenting, doing everything you guys do. Appreciate it. See you guys on the next video. Later.